Beloved in Christ, the Lord be with you. I welcome you to my reflection for the Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. And the theme of my reflection is, In and with Jesus, work in progress. Our readings are taken from the prophets of Isaiah chapter 49, from verses 8 to 15, and from the Gospel according to St. John chapter 5, from verses 17 to 30. The arrest in Christ, the sentence of phrase at the heart of today's readings is the response of Jesus to the Jews. My father still goes on working, and I am at work too. As a result of this affirmation of equality with God, the Jews wanted to kill Jesus. But truly, our throwing God is still in the act of forming, redeeming, and sanctifying us even right now. Creation is still happening now, for our minds and hearts, our lives, are continually being shaped by God's creative force. God, through His Son Jesus, goes on redeeming us. Thus, we pass from death to life, made possible because of the blood of Christ and His sacrifices on the cross. Indeed, our three God is not only Creator and Redeemer, He is equally our Sanctifier. This is the process of configuring us to Christ, the process of growing to attain the full stature of Christ. The words of Jesus are the words of God. This intimate union could be better described with the words of St. John thus, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. We see this in the Gospel according to St. John chapter 1 from verses 1 to 2. In God, work is always in progress, for He never abandons His people. Dear friends in Christ, however, in a more interesting and consoling manner, Prophet Isaiah portrays God as a tender and caring mother who does not, and as a matter of fact, will not forget or abandon her child. Truly, this image of God as a mother is indeed soul-suiting and comforting. Similarly, dear friends, you are still a project in God's hand. You are work in progress in God. God has not given up on you and will never abandon you. Therefore, raise your heads high and fix your gazes on God. Let us be strong in our faith in God, for we have a God who is both a father and a mother. God is always there for us. And may he continue to be for us in all circumstances of our lives, the Emmanuel, the God with his people. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as you continue your saving work, bring to realization the Father's purpose and designs in our lives. Amen. And may the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.